Today I'm going to be filming a haul for you. I have some new MAC goodies and goodies from Ulta that I want to share with you and a few little extras. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to do a haul anytime soon, but things have accumulated so I thought I would do one. I'm also going to be wearing this exact same outfit in my um, empties video this week, so excuse that. I also want to mention that I'm going to be at Generation Beauty for my very first time this weekend in LA. So if you guys are going to be there, definitely come and find me and say hi. I'll, I think I'm going to be at the VIP Friday event. I'm not sure if I'm going to go to that, but I think I will be, and I'll definitely be there all day um, at Generation Beauty on Saturday. Um, I may be there in the very early part of Sunday morning. Again, I'm not sure. I just know for sure I'll be there all day Saturday. So if you're going, let me know. I'm so excited to see my YouTube friends and see any of you that are going to be coming. Um, so yeah, just wanted to tell you that. I'll be leaving Friday. Um, and of course, I'll be vlogging all about it. So let's go ahead and get right into the MAC goodies. I do have a box here because I did order online. And uh, of course, I could not resist the Alluring Aquatic Collection purely because of the packaging. Um, and I do really like their mineral line of products, and they did have some of their mineral like blushes and things in this collection. Um, I know you've heard a lot about the collection already, so I just want to show you um, the beautiful packaging. There's like water droplets all over it on the box and on the actual packaging itself. Absolutely gorgeous. This is one of the blushes. It's in the color Seduced at Sea. And let me show you how it looks on the actual packaging too. It's just this beautiful seafoam mint coloring. So beautiful. Again, water droplets on the packaging itself. And they are raised, so it really does look like actual water drops. And this is absolutely beautiful blush. Kind of has like a corally, mauve tone to it. It does have that imprint, the wave inside of it. I will do swatches. So there it is on my finger, and there it is on my hand. I just think it's a really beautiful blush for summer. It has that, those tones in it that look very um, bronzy on your skin, but not overkill. I'm very like coral today, as you can see, so um, I like anything with a touch of bronzy coral to it, so love that blush. And next I got one of the eyeshadows, again has that raised packaging. This is in the color Fathoms Deep. And I've never actually purchased any of these kind of extra dimension eyeshadows before. By the way, this was an extra dimension blush. Um, I have to show you the packaging again because I'm obsessed. So pretty. Okay, so this is something, a color that I don't really have in my collection. It's purpley, almost, is this broken? It's broken. Hmm. Okay, I have to be really careful with this because it did, the pan did break out of the bottom of this. So I'm just gonna show you it real careful. It does have like some different dimension to it. It's like purpley, um, smoky, but has some like blue kind of coloring to it as well. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Topiness to it almost. Isn't that so pretty? I'm not going to return it even though it's broken on the bottle. I'll just be really, really careful with it. I also ended up getting two lipsticks from the collection. I got Mystical and Pet Me Please. Pet Me Please I'm not so sure about um, because it is a frost or luster. Is it a luster or frost? It's a frost. And I'm usually, you know, a little hesitant about frost. There's the packaging again. I'm sorry, I just have to show you. That's just so cool. It's all over the lipstick to the little bumps. It feels so cool. And I love the color. So here is the color of the lipstick. I actually put it on the other day when I first got this. And I'm still kind of like iffy about it. It's really pretty when you have um, very bronzed skin. It's just like a really light, frosty color. I'm not sure I'm going to play with this a little, um, and maybe I'll return it, but I don't think it's a must-have, but it's very different and unique. And then the next one is Mystical, and I definitely think that this would look so beautiful on everyone. Um, it's just like the perfect berry... I can't even talk. Like a berry, mauve -y, your lips the better, 
well, it's going to be better, more than your lips, but better, <laughs> definitely a little bit more than that, but it has a really beautiful tone to it that looks so beautiful on everyone, like, look at that color, so pretty, and it's not like a typical lip color that I would gravitate towards for summer, like, obviously, I really like my bright lips, but I couldn't pass it up because it looks so beautiful on everyone. Uh, I also got a little mini Fix Plus because I ran out of mine, and usually this will last me forever. I don't use this to set my makeup, I just use it to, like, wet my brush and things like that to apply pigments. I do have a pigment on today, it's the Tan Pigment from MAC. Um, I also got another mineralized skin finish. This is one of their new ones. It's in the color Global Glow, and it's in their new packaging. Have you guys seen this? Oh my gosh, it's so cool. So it's just so sleek. This is their new, extra, um, I mean, excuse me, not extra dimension, their skin finish packaging, and it has a magnetic closure. It's so beautiful and sleek. It just looks so much more high-end to me now. Um... And then here is the beautiful skin finish. Just a little bit more bronzy glow. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. It's perfect for summer. I also got the Pro Powder in Emphasize. It's just a really good setting powder for the, for the under eyes. Jaclyn Hill talks about it all the time. So I really wanted it. So I got that and it's in my palette here. And I also got another one of the palettes that look just like this, the double-ended ones, because they're only four bucks, four dollars and some change with my pro discount, or they're eight bucks if you don't have a pro discount, so I definitely suggest getting one of the pro palettes. They're awesome. And then, that might be it. Is that it? No, one more thing. I got a lip liner. Um, a couple videos back, I asked you guys to suggest the perfect like, orange coral lip liner for me, and one of you recommended this one, which is in lasting sensation and it's just one of their regular lip crayons lip pencils looks like this i actually lined my whole lips um my li lined my lips and filled it in with this today and then on top of that i have watch me simmer which is a amplified shade so that's what i have on my lips today but i will swatch this liner for you too it's absolutely perfect i love it especially for more on the orange tone lip. Not so much my corals. This is a little dark for my corals. So I'm going to end up getting some of the drugstore ones that you guys suggested. So, uh, But I do really, really love this. Okay, so that's it for my MAC haul. And I just wanted to quickly show you my Ipsy bag this month. Looks like this. I'm not really thrilled with the products I got this month, but just wanted to quickly show you. I got the No Frizz Oil from Balanced Guru. And it's just like a hair oil that smells really good, though. Um, I got the Hey Honey Take It Off Exfoliating Honey Peel Off Mask. I haven't used any of these products yet, so I can't tell you what I think of them yet. Then I got the Pureless Pure Moist Hydro Balance Moisturizer for normal and dry skin. Um, I got this Pacifica Eyeshadow Duo. <laughs> it just broke. <gasps> what a cheap piece of crap. Okay, fixed it. <laughs> All is right in the world. Okay. So I got this eyeshadow duo, and it's in the shade Natural Beauty Duo 2. Yeah, these colors don't wow me in the slightest. They are not pigmented at all. And then I got the Hang 10 Classic Sport SPF 50 Sunscreen, which I, I know I'll use this, so that's useful at least. That's it for my Ipsy bag. And last but not least, I went to Ulta. Can you tell by the crinkling of the bag? So freaking loud, this packaging. Okay, so I got two lashes on sale there. These are from the Katy Perry ColourPop Lashes line, and they were only $3.99 a piece. I got, like, the blue pair. So they just have a tint of blue to the lashes. And I also got a green pair. I just love the style of the lashes, and the pop of color will bring out my eye color, so. It's so cool. Also got the Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar Hand Cream. This is amazing. It's all natural. It smells amazing. It really absorbs into my hands well. And for some reason, I've been having some dry skin on my hands. Like They've just been dry lately. I think it's because I washed my hands and put a lot of san hand sanitizer on them. So I'm carrying this in my purse now. Love it. I also got, so both of the next few purchases were purely because of Crystal Lynn here on YouTube. She enabled me majorly. First are the Kardashian blushes. I got all of these on sale with a coupon. So I did not pay full price and I don't suggest you pay full price even though I do like them. They're like nine bucks a piece. 
No, definitely use a coupon. Um, but I found three of them that I really wanted. I'm wearing one today. I'm going to show you that one first. And these are the Kardashian Beauty Radiant Ombre Blush. And this is in the shade Sunlit. And I really love the like, rose gold detail around here. And then the imprint inside is so beautiful. There's stars and it goes uh, ombre from light to dark. I just mix my brush all the way through this. I don't like specifically go on one color. I just mix it all together and they all of the blushes from this collection have more of like a sheen glow to them and you know how much I love my glowy products. So I was all over that. I'm not sure you can see that as well as you can see it on my cheeks. It really, I feel like it doesn't swatch as good as it wears for some reason. Okay, so this next one is in the color Vivid. And it's just a really pretty, I'm filming. Hello. I'm filming. I know, I want to be part of it. <laughs> Love you. Bye. <laughs> ah, my brother's home. Okay, anyways, this is what it looks like. It's like a Barbie pink. And again, I just mix it all together. Look at that. So beautiful. Really, really pretty. I definitely suggest this one, especially if you like your pinks. And then the last one I have, oh, that's not it. The last one I have is in the color Torch. And that's what it looks like. This one might be my favorite out of all of them because it, of the pigmentation to it. It's just really a beautiful, unique kind of ready, red toned pink. And that's so pretty. And I don't really think you can see how beautiful the sheen is to these. But take my word for it, they're really gorgeous. Okay, and another purchase because of Crystal are these Ulta Color Pure Eyeshadow Pigments. They were on sale for only four bucks a piece. I believe they're usually 10. So I got these each for four bucks a piece, plus to use a 350 off coupon. So I got these for a steal and they were going like hotcakes. I swatched all these in the store, but I haven't used them on my eyes yet but they're incredible swatch. So I got three shades. The first, the lightest one I purchased was YOLO, and I really like the packaging too. I'm actually pretty impressed by Ulta. It has this like really nice metallic lid. It just pops up. Really? Maybe not. Okay, whoa, ow. It pops up and then there's a little stopper inside here. I'm not sure you can see that. But you can see here that this kind of presses down so that the pigment doesn't go everywhere. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is swatches. They do, they're not on um, any foundation or primer and they're not wet. And look at that pigmentation. This is YOLO. Absolutely stunning. I'm so impressed by these. Okay, the next color is Henna. And it's more of like a taupey shade. It's absolutely stunning. Oh my lord. Look at that. It's right there. It's just like a metallic taupey shade. And then the last one I have is Riviera. Really pretty. Look at that. Like a rose gold bronzy color. I also got another orange lip liner I forgot and this was another suggestion from someone. I haven't tried it. It's the Prestige Lip Liner in Poppy. I haven't even opened this or swatched it. It's definitely a bit darker of an orange. I'm not sure you can see that. Let me make it a little bit darker. There it is. But really awesome for drugstore so if you don't want to pay the math price for that. I also got a hard candy, this is called a bronzer, but I use it as a highlight. It's the Tiki Bronzer. I got this at Walgre Walmart, excuse me, at Walgreens. It's the packaging. It's domed, baked bronzer. Absolutely gorgeous glow to this. It has like gold, not glitter, but just sheen to it. Oh, it's not as easy to see. I hope you can see that. But it is really pretty. It's not as intense of a sheen and like pal as my um, Bobbi Brown or my MAC skin finishes are, but I do like it more for a subtle highlight. Okay guys, I'm really excited about this awesome holder. This is the lip gloss organizer from By Allegory. I have it in this really pretty light pink color. I'm not sure you can tell. But this baby fits 
every kind of lip gloss that I own. This holds 24 lip glosses and I have like every single different kind of lip gloss that I have in my collection. I have my, you know, um, Winding Lightning glosses here. Hope you can see that. I have a MAC lip pencil here. I have my NYX lip glosses. I have some Maybelline, some Milani. Just look at that, isn't it awesome? I'm obsessed with By All Allegories organization products. In fact, I'm in the process of moving to my apartment and setting up my makeup room. I'm gonna be buying more of these because I just think it makes organizing so easy and they're so nice and sturdy and they're not that expensive. So I'm gonna link them down below. They did send me this beautiful product and I am so thankful because I'm obsessed. <laughs> but I'm gonna link them down. And last but not least, I purchased a Cargo Blush off Oat Look. Um, it is pronounced Oat Look, I swear. It's not Hot Look. Um, I looked it up and it really is Outlook. Anyways, some, some person, someone was correcting me yesterday, but I swear it's Outlook. And this is in the color Bali and they just have like tin packaging. It's a little bulky, but I do really like how soft and pigmented their blushes are. And this is in Bali. Really pretty pink color. It's a little bit deeper and it does have a little bit of a sheen to it, which is why I like it. It's really pretty. It just gives my cheeks a really pretty rosy glow to them. Love me some glow. And that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, don't forget I'll be at Generation Beauty. So if you're in the LA area and you want to say hi, please come by. I would love that. I'll be tweeting and posting Instagram posts, all that. So make sure to follow me on my social media sites down below. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.